Hey guys, it's Mr. Candy back with another video and we're going to be talking about internal regulation, positive and negative feedback loops. Now, let's, first of all, let's go back to a refresher of what homeostasis is. Homeostasis means to maintain a balance. Now, I've shown you this picture before, so let me just briefly go over it. In your house, you have a set point at what temperature you want the house to be kept at. If the temperature falls below that set point, then there's a signal sent to the heater to turn on, produce heat, and as the heat up, it raises the temperature of the room, your temperature goes up to that set point and is cut off. Now, that mechanism is very similar to what we call a negative feedback loop. It's a mechanism that reduces the stimulus. For example, inside of you, if your temperature falls below the, the required temperature of your body, 98.6, then what will happen is your hypothalamus in your brain will tell your body to shiver. And that shivering will cause your body to warm up. And it will warm up until it reaches the appropriate temperature. And that is called a negative feedback because once it goes up to that point, then it stops. Now the opposite of that is a positive feedback loop. This is a mechanism that amplifies the signal. So positive feedback, the best example is childbirth. Um, if you know anything about contractions um, a woman's contractions are going to increase um, the closer she gets to the actual birth and it's like they build or build up on top of one another if you look at the diagram right here the head of the fetus pushes against the cervix the nerve impulses from the cervix transmit to the brain the brain stimulates the pituitary gland to make oxytocin Oxytocin is carried in the bloodstream, and then oxytocin stimulates the uterus to contract. And the more it presses on, more the head of the baby presses on the cervix, the more oxytocin that's released. So it gets bigger and bigger and bigger over time. So that's positive feedback. So now let's talk about those two. Positive feedback is going to continue to increase, 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 increase until it reaches that point of whatever it's shooting for. Negative is going to start because something is out of balance and once it gets back up to that balance point it's going to shut off. Now within human beings we have what's called a circadian rhythm which is kind of an alternation of set points of our homeostasis. This diagram does a gr very good job. Um, whenever you're in deep sleep when you know um, in this diagram between 2 and 4 30 a.m. in the morning your body is at the lowest temperature. The body actually your body actually allows itself to slow down okay and at six o'clock you have a very sharp ray, raise in the blood uh, pressure and that's going to increase your temperature so you're going to end up in this kind of up during the day down low in the, at night up in the day down low at night that's a circadian rhythm now in regular biology when I explain circadian rhythm I always use something like an owl or a nocturnal creature their circadian rhythm is opposite from ours. They're awake at night and sleep in the day where we're vice versa. Uh, the circadian rhythm is a physiological change that occurs roughly every 24 hours or so. All right, so this is a brief overview of how things are controlled internally. And I hope this helps you, and I will talk to you very, very soon.